Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Tonight, a reminder from a heartbroken family and domestic violence advocates that help is out there. Today, IMPD announced an arrest of the death of a 32-year-old mother. We are not naming the suspect who has not been formally charged, but her family and police say the man under arrest was her husband. They're sharing her story through a local group that helps people get out of abusive situations. WRTV's Cornelia Hawker explains. She was the life of the party. Um, she kept a smile. She loved her children um, as well as her family. That's what Ashley Bell's family told Danette Smith about their loved one who was killed earlier this month. Danette is the founder of Silent No More Inc., a nonprofit dedicated to helping people get out of relationships where they're being physically and emotionally abused. There are people out here, including myself, who are survivors that are willing to um, step in those shoes with you and walk you out of and get you the resources um, that's needed. While we're still waiting on police to tell us more about the circumstances surrounding Ashley's killing, Danette says this is another reminder that domestic violence is real and happening in our community. She tells me the pandemic has only made things worse. Since people are uh, forced to stay in their homes, not go to work, um, and with uh, the job decrease, it has really turned the numbers up for domestic violence and, and had us, it just has us working uh, a lot. As our leaders focus on trying to get control of the coronavirus, Danette hopes they'll also help deal with the ripple effects of the pandemic by funding groups in the community, helping those dealing with domestic violence. The small organizations, the grassroots organizations need that funding so that way we can go inside of the community, we can go to those doors, we can help those um, individuals who are facing domestic violence directly more so than waiting on them to contact us. With a blessing from Ashley's family, Danette is speaking out to hopefully save someone else's life, getting them out of their dangerous situation before it turns deadly. You don't have to stay. There are resources out here. Um, even if the shelters are full, there is funding out there to get you placed into uh, a safe environment. Working for you, Cornelia Hawker, WRGV. You can find a list of resources available for those dealing with domestic violence in this story on our app. And the National Domestic Violence Hotline is available anytime at 1-800-799-SAFE.